Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Discovery 2 TD5. So in today's video, we are fitting stainless steel braided PTFE brake hose from the front to the back. Um, the reason why we're doing that is because the standard sort of uh, green colored stuff or etc. basically corrodes. It comes down here off the ABS, sort of bends up around about here and connects to um, rubber brake hose. We've already got stainless steel here, but we want to fit it upwards. So this is the stuff we've got. We've got all the fittings. Um, John will just tell you what we're doing with the ABS modulate. We've made up these parts here to come straight down. There are a few ways of doing this. It can come a union and then straight out, but we couldn't get the union in the M12 nut size. These are M10. So this is why we've done it this way. You can get right angles, right um, angles swivel, that's it, yeah. swivel right angles for them, but the time we'd put that in, then another join, it was easy just to use the other stuff and we can get it away. We can bend it down, we can get it away from there. And all this is out of the way anyway, up the top of it, it's not, it's not going to get corroded. Yeah, and obviously you've got to make sure that nothing's catching. So if you put your ruler on there like that, you'll see that the uh, bonnet's going to miss that. Yeah. So this comes by the meter, it's about five pounds, something a meter. So we ordered 25 meters and we worked out the length from the front to the back, didn't we, with the bends? We're going to have quite a bit left over, yeah. but we might do a little project on the Fiat with it. So that's it. So this is what it looks like. It's got plastic inside. Yeah, PTFE. Yeah. And it's braided in there. Um, and it can take lots of pressures on it. They use it a lot. Um, and it doesn't corrode as well. So, so the company we bought from was Car Builder Solutions. Solutions, yeah. and we bought these uh, male attachments there from them as well. The male union, Jeff. Yeah. What happens is on the top of the modulator here, the pipe goes into there, and we'll probably do a video on that, but they've got a video of their own, spe specially fixed. And then that will go onto there, and we'll have four hoses going down. Yeah, to, to the to the front, and the back. What I will say is that just in case anybody's wondering, this one here nearest towards the light is front passenger. Second one is driver's front. Third one is driver's rear. Fourth one is passenger rear. Just in case you've take you've got one without any pipes in. The other thing they provide is these things here. So, for example, this one here will have this on with a hose coming down. There. And the reason we bought these males from them, they must be able to fit in. So that'll go from there. There'll be a piece of hose in here. And then the hose will end up in here and then we will just connect it into our brick part stainless steel, steel brake hoses, hoses yes. in there and i've got to say if it all goes to plan you can see how neat it's going to look in then it's a lot easier the way i'm looking at it to assemble this and um to get a perfect fit as well. And the other thing you've got to bear in mind is something that I said. We've got about a 90 pound flaring tool, okay? And you do your best to get a perfect flare at the end, but these come pre-flared. i show them. Yeah. All right, so that means you're gonna get a perfect contact and connection every time and avoiding any leaks which has got to be better. The reading I've done, um, these are safer. They don't bulge or anything. Obviously, no corrosion on them. Uh, you just got to make sure they're securely attached. We've used the old clips, those two that used to go down there. We bought some of these clips from Car Builder. Just keep everything rigid, and it is rigid, it yeah. doesn't move. So we just pushed it all over, so it's all going to be out of the way and flow nicely. Um, what we can do with this as well, we could, there used to be some jump hoses here, which are these. They used to run through there and there, and they're a real pig to get to, if I'm honest, because we've done them. And they're rubber as well. They're not stainless steel, that sort of thing. So the existing brake pipes, when uh, Land Rover manufactured this, were just running along in clips. 
on the chassis, top of the chassis here. So there's no reason why we can't just come down and run from here all the way along. And that's avoiding um, having to put these jump hoses in. Well, so we'll leave, we'll leave a bit of slack on it, won't we? Yeah, so that's removing two points of failure. Yeah. And these always corrode. The other ones are absolutely and horrendous. And also the rub rubber is rubber's not ideal. Yeah, it? so in all honesty, looking at the process, it might cost a little bit more. So if you're getting all the fittings, um, you'd probably do it for, say, £200. We bought extra. I don't, uh, it didn't cost us... I don't think it cost us... It cost us maybe close to that. But if you want to... Um, Depends what you want to do, really. How put you these want to on set it up. a different way, like attach screws to the chassis and get these P clips. Yeah, so this stuff needs to be basically, it can't be rubbing, it needs to be firmly secured, and you can use these P clips with the, like rubber inserts. Should we yeah. show one of them? Yeah, can do. And obviously, you can put the hose in that. So you self tapper in there and you push that in there. It's already a good fit as it is. And then you just screw that onto something. So you've got a real secure fitting if you want to do it that way as well. We bought them just just, just to give us an just option. In case, yeah. in case we run into some problems. Um, so to do ours, we ordered skis and coats. We ordered four of those. PSB F O zero one. Mm -hmm. We ordered four of those. Was it four? Yeah. Yeah, for the hoses. PSB F zero three. We ordered four of those. Uh, just mail connectors, 10, 10 mil. Unfortunately, I've lost the little bags for them, so they're easy to find. Um, what else did we order? So we ordered P clips. I haven't got code on them, but. I'll put, I'll put a link to all this stuff yeah. anyway. And we ordered some extra washes somewhere just in case. So that's basically there. What keeps the uh, hose in your connector. It's very clever, real clever. Right, so now we've discussed what we're gonna do. Um, you must, when you put these together, you must do it properly. There is a yeah. set way of doing it and you must do it properly. And so we'll, we'll start assembling the first part in a minute. There. We do, you get that, all that wire back with a, a little hook. That's the first part of it. You cut it, you squeeze that back into shape so it's round. And some old bits, you pull that back. I'm just showing briefly what you do. You slide your olive. screw connector in, on there first. Yeah, yeah, on there first, yeah. Then you pop your olive over this PTFE pipe on the pipe with the wire mesh in front of it and then you literally bolt it up and that's really it what this allows you to do it's a lot more flexible than copper as well and it's a lot more forgiving so you're definitely going to get a need to draw and you know if you live in high high areas of corrosion up north somewhere or by the sea this is probably your choice yeah anyway we'll come back to you when we've got it installed and uh, Hopefully we'll have no leaks. See you in a bit. Right, so we're start, ready to make up our first first line. This one's going to the wheel arch area above the brake line hose. This uh, this method here applies to all fittings you fit onto this hose. So John will just run you through right, a few okay. details of so that. So before you cut your new brake cable, yeah, um, pipe, you slide this over it first, which is attached there, fits on that. Yeah. The thread should be facing the end of the pipe. Now what you need to do with a pick is move the outer mesh away from that plastic bit there. The easiest way I found of doing it in the end was to get it so far back then just put a socket over it. What sort of size socket is that? Uh, so this is 7mm but 6mm would work. Just push it away. It's very sharp as well isn't it? It is real yeah. sharp. And then inside there Olives and olive, yeah. The olive can only go on one way because it's got a very small hole there, which won't go over the pipe. So it and fits. A tapered end. Yeah, on the other so side, it fits yeah. that way. Now, 
apparently you just need to give that a bit of a tap. And you can see it, it's not still not quite on there. It does slip away from you a bit, but right, that's sort of fairly on. Do you slide this back up there and you fit your push that in, it's a bit tight when you push it in, and then just do it up with a couple of spans. Let's see what size spanners they are. And that's really it, really. That's just providing you do it all correctly, you should be fine. So that is an 11. 11 on this outer one. one and 11 there. So you're going to need. Is that 11 there as well? Yeah, they're all. Oops. Let's move out a bit there. So it's all size but 11. That bit there you need to put a spanner on the, and the back yeah. part, yeah. Because this, this part here moves up and down. Let's just see if it's down the brake spanner. So it gives you a bit of, if you want to try rip, start screwing the hose and you need to rearrange it, this part is moves up and down. That's, that's, that's a good bit about it. So, this is a, can you get, no, so you're going to have to use spanners on this definitely. So, you might be better just to make sure you've got a couple of 11 spanners. You just literally screw this together, holding that with another size 11 spanner, and that's your fitting on. And then we will screw this. Let's just take it around. So we'll make this first bit hose up and then we'll make the second bit onto the ABS and we'll show you that in a minute. We'll screw that in there in a minute and then we'll take the pipe to the ABS uh, so we've got enough and we'll cut it so we don't have to waste it, we'll just poke it down. Yeah, we'll only use what we need to with this. And that's, that's really it, that's a real simple way of doing it. So there's no flaring involved. Um, the components look real quality if you look at them. And like I say, that machined uh, bubble at the end is going to help yeah. people. You don't, you don't need to flare this because it's I, already done. I would honestly say that this is a safer way of, uh, if you're doing your brakes yourself, your lines yourself, it's a safer way of doing this it. Is, and this is high pressure hose, it's rated, it's for this. Yeah, so um, yeah. used in a lot of racing arenas. We haven't seen it on Discoveries yet, but... That's why we're making the video. Video, just in case people are interested. In case you want to run this stuff that doesn't corrode should always pass MOTs. I mean, in essence, yeah. it's the length of this. It's uh, four connectors and some connectors at the top. It's what really we're going to do, though, is we are, gonna, as John said earlier, we are going to run P-clips to make sure it's fastened, but in some areas where we can't really run one, we'll probably put a bit of this rubber pipe round it. That's just fuel line, isn't it? Yeah, just fuel line. We'll probably put a bit of rubber pipe round, around it, and then we'll put a big, real big cable ties, like, half a metre long cable ties around the chassis onto this. These cable ties we'll use. I'll show are, you where. Are here. They're this yeah. long. They are, they are huge. Right, so we'll put a link to this on Amazon as well. So you they know fit around, They fit around the actual chassis, the frame. Just by a couple of metres of fuel yeah. line. Um, what we've done, so we can take it on and off, is we just slit down the yeah. middle so we can get it up and then just position where we Actually, want it. Actually, if you're really clever, you could probably put like this hose on it already and then think but this is just stuff we had previously we're going to reuse yeah save save a bit of yeah. money sort of thing right we'll start connecting the lines up because this is the same process for either end and then we'll come back to you and tell you how we got on with leaks or any problems we had nice new uh brake lines in it should future proof the vehicle um let me see what we've done there we've um rerouted all this here new pipes on etc I have to do the odd tweak and tighten up, but that's about it. Um, and we've basically just run these to it's, the back. Yeah, to the front and back. back. I'll show you the front now. So this is how we've got the front on the driver's side. Just comes round a P-clip here, just holding it in, bit of this thing. It doesn't, it's not touching kind of thing, it just goes like that. That is done real tight up, it's just long. And then we'll give you, we'll show you the back. And underneath we've put, we've strapped all the lines down in the same place that they came from. So we've used a P-clip there. Mm -hmm. We've drilled a, a hole and we've uh, tapped, tapped it. it. So there's no movement. Um, there's no there's no movement here. And where where I couldn't I couldn't get a P-clip, I've just put uh, I put it in a piece of nice fuel rubber and a cable tie going all the way down so it doesn't move. And same everywhere else. And here we've just managed to get a little P-clip in here, so it can't really move. And over there, I've got, as you can see, I've got it in a piece of rubber 
strapped down and it's well away from any of the other well away from it from the uh, fuel lines and wiring loom uh, just note when you put it in just make sure your brake cable your runs towards a car like this so it's away from the spring yeah so yeah as john yeah. says you you can twist this nut here with a 19 mil and get that like that it's this way yeah they're 19 they're 10. so we installed all the 11, system sorry. we've bled it completely uh, there's no leaks whatsoever do you want to just show do you want to just discuss what f f bubble flares we used we didn't need to do any flares on here because it's pre-formed but on the abs side and also where the hoses connect up to we did we'll tell you what flares we did in case you're thinking of buying buying this stuff to do it yourself you might you might want to know exactly what we use so you don't get any leaks so we've got a video about this so we used the it's the 3 16th 4.75 there and you do the normal bubble flare with your tool. So you have your brake pipe coming through that 4.75 on this vehicle. You place that in the brake pipe and you squish it down. When you squish it down, leave it in there and you then go back on top of it just with that and wind it down. Just should we show that? Just with the little pointed part here. Should I actually do one? You can do. I'll just show you how you make these up so you don't end up with any leaks. And the way we've made them up is we've made them up for here. These ones, these are pre-existing nuts we used and also for these unions. So for these unions and these uni unions into these uh, female nuts. So this is how we did ours. Let's just do it. So we cut our pipe where we wanted it. The first thing we did is we put it in the back where there are no markings and we locked it in, the second one down on this. And what we did there, we filed it down and made it flat. Literally like this. And you put it in a vice as well. Having things like a bench vice makes the job a little bit easier. So we made sure that's completely flat. that was flat. And we took it out. I mean, you might not, you, you may know how to use this tool, probably you might not, so hopefully this is Position helpful. that in there and just do it real loose. Make sure you've got the right, the right die. And what you want, you want that to the height Should of... Just show, show that there. there. Show it's there. You see that first collar, that needs to be the same height as that? Yeah, and you can tweak it up and down, can't you? So, I know right. I need to come in a little bit, not loads, but... There you go. There, yeah. Yeah, it's the first it's one there. That's good to know. Right, then that's for putting in the vice so you can hold it, but we'll just do and keep everything together without moving around. And then ideally, this is something we learned early on, put a spanner in there and just tighten that up. Yeah. It's important that the pipe is very well gripped because when you use this press tool, you don't want it slipping down. Yeah, so then what you do, you insert your... Oh, but obviously put your union on first. Yeah, you've got yeah. union on, yeah. For any of this. Yeah. Uh, or the other side, if you can. On your cutter, there's a deburring tool. You just go like that in there. Just... I'll do for that. So deburr it inside and outside. Put your thing in there like that. And... Uh, No, it goes the other way. It's a funny Maybe one just, because uh, it slots in a certain way. So basically you want to, don't wind this too too tight far back because if you do, that will drop off, just as a word of warning. So when you put it on there, you just then twizzle it so those angles lock and then pull it to go down slowly with it. And as you can see, it's locked. And then with even pressure, just take your time with it. And you just want to try and get everything straight, especially this press tool as well. Right, so, and you just want it tight so you, you can't turn it. And now, the other thing I, I would learn with this, you just hold your finger there and that, and just undo this slowly. Because if you don't, you can 
for some reason it can jump. I don't know why, it just does. So when we do that, we end up with that bubble flare. Yeah. Then what you do, you leave this on and you come back down. You see where it's going in the center there? That hole was a bit distorted. Don't worry about this because this will level it all off. And then basically what you do, you come back down. So that first one, I'm led to believe, and we're no experts, is like a single bubble flare. This is a double. And you get Morse. See where I've done that? So it's changed. You can see there it's changed the shape. And then we're going to come back. Let's say don't or do that all. And you'll see the difference in the shape there. You will need your spanner to undo that again. It is helpful to have advice though as well, isn't it? If you've got yeah. It's worth investing if but you're doing bits. It was a simple thing. If you don't tighten this up enough with a light spanner that's designed these lugs to do that, you find that when you're pressing your flare, it floats through the top. And, and that's how we did ours. It's not the most perfect the one because one we're doing it in our hand, not hand, vice. Yeah. But if you're in a vice, yeah. uh, you can push down. You want that. It, that this is, that's just an example. That yeah. We wouldn't actually use that to be no. honest. And then obviously then your, your union. You've got more of an area to push down on. Yeah. And that just literally squishes in yeah, and that'll creates literally, your it's seal. Not, so it's not the thread that creates a seal, it's actual flare and the thread puts pressure onto the seat, which yeah. is, the seat is basically like what this thing is sitting in, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. And that's I hope that sort of helps you along a little bit. Yeah, we've got anything but, else to share about it? Uh not really, no. No, I think that's it. So sort of, we showed what materials um, we've used, how we've done it. To put the pipes in, first time we've done it and use this stuff, I would say that this piping is easier to install than um, your traditional piping like this, this green stuff. It's safer. Uh, it takes less time because you haven't got to be making all these up. They're more accurate and precision made. And I can s sort of state that as, a, in my opinion, as a matter of fact, because we did replace all the brake lines with this stuff on this vehicle. Yeah, we ran all new and here everywhere. We had to think about it and thought, what we should have done really was pop this stuff in. We just rooted it where the existing lines were. Yeah. Put a bit um, of rubber on things where they went to bends. When and we did the back, it. the two back wheels, we came, we um, came from the back, poked it through, and fed it to here. Yeah, and that that made life easy for us. But you might might choose to do something differently. You can do whatever you want, really. It's not makes you. life easy. So um, yeah, hope that helps you along a bit. Thanks for watching.